readers, it's Sasha, and today I'm going to be doing something that I love watching so much. I love the tea being spilt, and that is a book unhaul. <laughs> decided that I want to do an unhaul twice a year to make room on my shelves for new books that I might be interested in over the next six months, as well as any books I might be getting as gifts from people for any different holidays or birthdays or anything like that. And I just, I'm tired of looking at some of these books. Some of these books have been haunting me, so I don't want them in my life anymore. So I know a lot of people ask, like, what are we doing with books right now? Like, what's going on? So I don't think this is going to work, but I have this idea where I'm going to put all of the different series or books that I'm trying to unhaul on my Facebook marketplace. And I'm going to see if people want to do possibly a book trade or possibly a like book giving thing over this holiday season. I just kind of had this idea where, you know, one man's trash might be another man's treasure. So why not try to spread some of these books? Some of these books I absolutely loved. I'm not trying to say like I hated them, but why not try to spread some of these books throughout the city? And typically what I would do is I would just take them to a thrift store but right now I don't feel like going to the thrift store to give my books because I have a lot of books that are being unhauled. Not that many, but I feel like this would be the entire young adult book section and that's the only shopping I do there. So I want to see if I can give this back to the community. So the catch would be like if you don't have books that you're willing to part with, then you just have to do a good deed for somebody over the holiday season and you get the book for free. I'm not trying to get any money for these books. I'm not trying to get any donations or anything for these books. I just think it might be fun to do something that could potentially be like a community thing. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to put the idea out there and see if people are like interested in it and if if people want to trade me a book series that maybe they didn't love or maybe they just are tired of looking at on their bookshelves then I will take it and I will try to read it over the next six months and then possibly unhaul it again in June or July so it, that's kind of the goal we'll see if that even remotely happens So I have two stacks of books here, all young adult, all books that I have either read and just found mediocre or have read and loved but I don't think I will ever read and love them again, or books that I haven't read that I realize I really don't have any interest in or I've kind of outgrown. So let's just dive in. So the first book is The Possible by Tara Altabrando. I read this book this year, possibly in September or August or something, and it's about a girl who's mom is in jail for like murdering her family and claims that she has psychic powers and it's like a god of podcast element and stuff it's really interesting like it's it wasn't a bad book like i think i gave it three stars it's something that i would probably forget about later on but it's definitely it's worth the read if somebody wants to read it because it's kind of cool it's kind of paranormal kind of spooky it's kind of nice Good. next book i have here is accident season or the accident season by moira fowley doyle and i hauled this book and in a we don't talk about her book haul and I just realized I don't ever want to read this like I, I think I spent a dollar fifty on it and I just someone else might really get a kick out of this book I just don't think I ever will the next book I'm getting rid of is kind of a booktube favorite I want to say and it is everything everything by Nicola Yoon I didn't love this book that much I just I didn't gel so much with the illustrations the short chapters I I just it's definitely a quick and easy and good read but I just I didn't gel with it as much as I would have liked to so I'm getting rid of it the next one I'm getting rid of is gonna be tea for Coley and that is nothing happened by Molly Booth this is a Shakespeare retelling um, much ado about nothing retelling telling and in conclusion I did not like it at all I thought the people in this were just so no I'm just I'm gonna save this for my worst books of the year 2020 video because it is one of them spoilers but I didn't love it so yikes the next book I'm getting rid of is 13 reasons why and I'm getting rid of this because I read it I had the audiobook from my Libby app I read it and I just don't ever want to read it again it's not something that I want to surround myself with and if I really 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 am interested in the story I can watch the tv show so I don't need this the next book I'm getting rid of is literally I'm just I'm so happy that she's leaving let's say it together I'll give you the sun by Dandy Nelson this book was just messy in every sense of the word i hated it so much i literally ugh. this book and the secret history are both 
just they just i just no absolutely not like i literally no never so did not enjoy and i'm getting rid of it and i'm hoping because this book did help a lot of people in their lives i'm hoping that i can pass this along to somebody who can really benefit from this because i'm not saying it's like a bad book yes i am i just really didn't like it but that doesn't mean it was a bad book next is a book that i'm really bitter because i do have the exclusive edition of this book with all kinds of artwork and i'm upset that i spent money on it but it's okay i'll get over it and that is eleanor and park by rainbow rowell so this is heather's pick and i just want to say heather was stupid heather made a mistake heather was not 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 thinking clearly so this is just a very very racist fat phobic just really awful book that when i first read it i was like okay you know what like this is not awful like this is so like deep it wasn't like i was just 13 so i wasn't thinking of this in any way like an adult would and now that i'm an adult i'm just like you can go next is a book that i tried to get into but i just really couldn't this year and that is it's kind of a funny story by ned vizzini i hate passing this book on to somebody else but i feel like somebody else could get something out of this that i just couldn't i feel so bad because this author really struggled with his own depression and he did end up committing suicide and i just i don't know it's just I just didn't love it. I didn't love the writing of it. And I know this is a very, 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 very loved book within the book community. So I'm hoping to pass this along to somebody who maybe hasn't read it or maybe lost their copy or something crazy like that. I don't know. I'm hoping this goes to a good home because it deserves a good home. Next is a book that I just don't care about anymore. And that is The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler. I have just kind of like, I'm over Jay Asher. Like, he was in a phase and I was in a phase when I bought all of his books but I don't have any interest in it so I'm I'm giving it up next is another book by somebody we don't like speaking their name on this channel but I just did already and I have the exclusive of this too why did I spend money that I did not have I'm getting rid of fangirl by rainbow Rowell. so I've heard a lot of people talk a lot of shit about this book and I'm just at the point where I'm over rainbow Rowell's writing and her her crappiness as a person I'm over it so I don't want to support it. I don't want it on my channel anymore. So after this and one more book, you will never hear from her again. Next is a series that I mentioned was going to be in this. So if you watched a certain video, then you will know that this is that book. And that is The Ashes Trilogy by Ilsa J. Bick. So this trilogy, like, it was in no way a bad trilogy. Like, I don't want people to be like, oh, like, it just sucks. It doesn't. It doesn't. It just, I don't feel like it aged as well as I would have liked it to. And I just don't anticipate ever reading it again. Because I like, when I reread a book, I want to get the feeling that I got the first time. Like, when I was reading the Lux series again recently, I was just like, oh my god, like, this is just it. Everything I have ever dreamed of. But I did not get this when I... When when I started reading Ashes again. So I'm hoping to give this to a home with somebody who can appreciate this entire series because it is in perfect condition. Like it's beautiful. It's stunning, but it's just not for me anymore. Next is another series that I'm probably going to get in shit for, but I just don't have any interest in it anymore. So I'm sorry, but I'm getting rid of The Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor. So Lainey Taylor's writing is just so incredibly lyrical and so flowery and so beautiful. And unfortunately, I'm not a very lyrical Lyrical, floral, floral, see? I'm not that kind of person. So this kind of book doesn't interest me as much anymore. I really enjoyed the second and third books. The first book took me a while to understand anything what was going on but i'm hoping that this can go to a home with someone who likes this type of writing a little bit more and who would like a complete series in genuinely pretty good condition so the next book i'm getting rid of is a book that i had been recommended by my friend when i was in junior high and i just i got it from a secondhand bookstore and never picked it up so that is going to be the immortal rules by julie kagawa i've heard really amazing things about this book and it's not something that i am looking down on at all like i still think that this book is probably a really great story but i'm just not into vampires anymore i'm not into that type of story anymore and i just don't think that it would be as good for me as i would have liked next book i'm getting rid of is a book i read a while ago and it is all the rage by courtney summers i liked this book when i read it like it was fine but it is really heavy and it's 
it's it's really hard to read and I read it once I don't anticipate reading it again and I don't think it adds anything to the conversation about sexual assault that other books don't add so I'm going to pass it along to somebody else because I don't think I need it on my shelf anymore next is a series that I've been dying to get rid of <laughs> ever since I read it in like April or May and that is the I don't even know what it's called the sea of shadows trilogy by Kelly Armstrong it's about these two girls who literally get kidnapped every other freaking page it's fine <laughs> and uh they have like magical powers in this kingdom and the kingdom is getting taken over like you know the story every kingdom story is like this i just didn't like this kelly armstrong's writing is so hit or miss for me like we just don't have a good time together so i've never read a kelly armstrong book where i've been like oh my god five stars five stars this is incredible i've read kelly armstrong books that i've given five stars when i wasn't being as critical but if i look back at the reading and the writing i would not be giving it five stars today so that's that next book i'm getting rid of is the cabin by Natasha Preston. This book was a choice and now I'm choosing to give it away. I didn't like this. I like it was okay. Like it wasn't an awful story, but it just wasn't great. It I don't know. The ending was really stupid. Everything was really stupid. So I'm over it. Next is a series that I'm reluctant to get rid of, but also I realized that I've had this for like five years and I haven't read it. So I'm going to get rid of it. And this is the Berserk series by Michael Grant. Now I know in the past I've talked about how incredible Michael Grant's writing is and how just fantastic I find his stories to be. They're just so creative to me. I don't think I'll be able to gel with this because there was another series that he wrote a while ago that I could not get on board with and I had to get rid of. I think this will be the same thing because it's like a like an apocalyptic sci-fi ish story and I don't think it's going to do anything for me so I'm going to pass it on to somebody who is more into that style of story. Next is the last book from a Rainbow Rowell and that is Carry On by you know like I've heard great things about this story but I think it's still like I just don't want to read her books. I have no interest in supporting her writing anymore and I just I don't I don't need it in my life so I'm getting rid of it. Next is The Peculiars by Maureen Doyle McQuarrie. This is a book that I actually think would be probably pretty good but it is kind of like it's like a fantasy dystopian story and it does sound kind of interesting but I just feel like my reading has kind of evolved and there are just so many books I have on my shelf and in the bookstores that I really want to read that aren't this so I'm gonna pass this along to somebody who can hopefully get a better use of it. And now I'm down to my final two series. This series is the uh, Soul Seeker series by Alison Noel and I just am not into fantasy series as much anymore. I really like fantasy standalones and I really like dystopian series but fantasy series especially when it's more than three books is just like I can't do it even though they're small books I just I just don't have any interest in these anymore but they have literally never been read they're in perfect condition well I mean like they came from a secondhand store so like they were read but here they are in perfect condition so somebody could get a really good use of this. And finally the last series I'm getting rid of is the Trill series by Amanda Hawking. This is another fantasy trilogy that I don't really have an interest in anymore. I got all of these books secondhand, I believe, and I just don't really care enough to read them. So I'm sure they're great, but I just have other things that I'm trying to read right now. So if I'm really ever interested again, I can pick up the books from the library. So yes. So those are all the books that I'm unhauling this holiday season. I will try to give you an update to see if maybe this like book exchange thing ever really pans out or if it just doesn't at all and I can just go hide in a corner. But those are all the books that I want to get rid of in making room for the holiday season and these books that I'm planning on getting with the money that I get for Christmas. <laughs> so yes, now I feel a lot happier with my shelves. I feel like they represent me more. They have more my style books on them and I love them. So that is it. That is all I have to say. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do post twice a week. And until next time, bye readers!